Today I play around with uh, Runaway Gen 2 text to video AI and I was just blown away. Uh, for those of you who are new to it, um, basically Runaway ML uh, text to video feature is an AI tool that can create videos from text descriptions prompts. Uh, and you can use it to create, well, whatever you like, because again, you can describe what you want to see. Uh, and basically uses credits for you to generate uh, videos. Again, depends on uh, what you want to achieve and the length of the video. Uh, you have the option to try it free, but you're limited in the amount of credits that you get. But this gives you kind of a nice uh, indication of what the service can do, and you can decide whether to use it or not. All you need to do is just enter the text prompt and runaway ML will generate a video that matches your description. So we can see me using it for the first time. And the great thing is that it allows you to get a preview. So instead of just, you know, wasting your credits and maybe of something that might not look what you are actually looking for, you have the option to make a preview. You can see that each second equals to five credits. And this is as simple as it gets. You have, by the way, you can upload an image that you want. You can even bring images, for example, a really like cool image that you generated using other AI generative uh, generative AI tools like MeJourney. And if you have something really cool and bring it here. But here you can see me again uh, using the text prompt uh, to just write something and get a preview and then generate a video. So I won't bore you that long with the writing, just so uh, you can see that you write and then you have the option to click the free preview. Which is cool, it actually doesn't count to your credits. And then it's uh, going to generate previews pretty fast uh, for variations from which you can actually choose the one that you like best. All right, of course, they're going to be look differently, similar, but uh, very much different. So, you know, just choose the one that you like. Uh, after it finishes, uh, it's going to start after you click the general video, it's going to generate the video. It doesn't take that long. Uh, I think like uh, 20 30 seconds something like that uh and the video will be ready keep in mind that to just uh, cut the processing time but just will let you see the progression and you can see that it's ready pretty fast uh and here we go we get a video from that image nothing spectacular but of course you can uh create something longer or you can create something you know of course we spend more time to create something that you really like and you find fascinating. And if you just want to stay with the shorts, of course, you need to kind of uh, craft your prompt so it actually, well, look interesting in a way, considering the length of the video, if you're planning to make something short. Uh, so, or maybe something that can maybe look really nice when it's actually, you, you loop it, for example, if you share it on social media. Now there's an option also to submit a feedback to the developers, just rating the results. Uh, uh, unfortunately, there was an option to close the window. <laughs> I just you know, wanted to check things out. Anyway, you can submit feedback uh, for the developers to help them improve the tool. And by the way, you're not limited to just one uh, you know, free preview. You can continue generating free previews until you see what you like. So it's not just you get only four for your prompt. You can continue just creating free preview and free preview. Again, four and four variations until you find something that you like. This one, by the way, took about, I think, like a minute and 30 seconds, something like that. But pretty long, relatively. Uh, I mean, just consider something if you want something longer. But of course, this will get better and better uh, over, uh, in the future. And as you can see, this is the result. Now, this, of course, made you think about, well, just imagine something like a full Hollywood, Hollywood kind of type of movie generated using AI where in the future you'll be able to generate uh, video movies based on your prompts. What do you want to see? Uh, you create your own script and you're going to see the result uh, on the screen, all AI generated. It makes you wonder what happens to the Hollywood industry. And maybe just people just watch their own custom made uh, movies because that's why they want to look best. They don't want to wait for uh, another movie, just going to create their own. You're going to create things with your own prompt, with your own endings. Actually, there's a problem with the ending. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you want to you know the tension. So, well, maybe you're going to leave that to the AI to write the spoilers without actually spoiling the, the movie for us. But even then, again, just imagine a movie, entire movie, just completely generated from scratch, even with a short prompt like this, you can generate maybe old movie that you just, you know, will get life, uh, 
I'm talking about stuff like one hour and a half. I'm something long movies. This would be amazing. This would be insane. And things like that would happen, of course, with future hardware, in something in real time. It's just crazy thinking even about it, right? But yeah, but that's how it will be. Now it looks like, oh my god, we are so far from it. But things are moving so fast. So it wouldn't take uh, that long for us to get there. But think about it. If it was here right now, where you can just generate your own movies and just watch it immediately. So instead of just searching for a movie, just type the type of movie you want to see and AI would generate something extraordinary because it's going to be based off all the other movies uh, that actually release. So it will actually generate something that is based on high quality uh, Hollywood, movies, Hollywood movies, for example. And I personally can't wait to the time where you can actually create those movies that actually adapt to your own physical space that you can create a movie that really will recognize everything around you and the characters, everything will actually interact with physical things that actually in your, in your space. So for example, if you're just playing in a living room and there are some, I don't know, like some objects, it can actually interact with objects. I mean, literally like pick the virtual replica of them and just fill in, of course, the gap uh, and just make a movie or maybe just short movie inside the physical space that I'm actually at while recognizing all the objects around me and not just object and people and it's going to be dynamic so you can actually interact it's going to be interactive dynamic so if you change something on the fly it will actually adapt so you can actually be an actor in your own movie and then basically you can create scenes with virtual character that actually uh, virtual that it can look of course really realistic that inside and you can be an actor main actor in your own movie you just describe what you want it to be how the character should behave and the scene and you can create a mixed reality type of movie uh that's yeah, just blow my mind away and all of us can become actors in our own movies anyway this is just a big jump but again if you want to try uh this one out i'm going to link to it in the description of this video so you can try it out yourself and yeah pretty amazing lots of provoking thoughts about the future where this technology will go forward uh, and yeah, mind blowing. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, what do you think about the future of a AI movies, Hollywood movies with AI and all this thought that I mentioned? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's discuss it there. Thanks for watching.